to see you on the shelter plane. A home away from home, is it not? Those scallywags! They are diluting Starstone with blood magic? Vile fiends! This sect, it must be stopped! Their adulteration of Starstone could hamper our efforts to undo the void! You have to trace this sect back to the very pit where it burrows! Bloodstone! The horror! Magic as dark as this, it feeds... I am the last chest, the last chest, the last chest! If you believe yourself worthy of rifling through my ample treasures, I do dare you to prove it! Find my four sisters, no more than one in each of the realms of your wide world! How intolerable it is to think that all the knowledge of the world is being gathered by an imp. A creature that is no more than the result of a... And yet I am a tad jealous of that jabbering little jester. To know all. It is a consummation devoutly to be... You'll rue the day you lend your trust to anything that is demon-touched. But this particular specimen, it delights in scholarship. A quality I... Let us learn, Hunter. Whether you like it or not, and through wisdom... So good to see you again, Source Hunter.
Good to see you again, Source Hunter. I shall be very glad. By all means. We lost another of my legionnaire for two years. Still, I thank you for telling me, Source Hunter. Lieutenant, sir, now I... And that is exact... So, let me get by Bella. Anyway, be oh, if you ma- Bravo! Figured that one out, did you? What more is there to say? Would you take me? We may well stand on unholy ground right- I hope your quest fares well, dear hunter.
Noble Source Hunter. Good to see you've reached Lakula Forest. There were times when I came to this neck of the woods just to whiff its wholesome air. Alas, that it is thick with sorcery these days. It surrounds us here, like an invisible mist. Takes cat's eyes to see it creep. Even so, it's plain as day to the east, all about Ikara's cabin. Immaculates beset it, no doubt under Leandra's orders. If she has ordered such thorough defenses of her sister's cabin, we may be certain that whatever lies within will be a prize more precious than butter-baked place. That means Ikara herself must be there, Hunter. And it is essential that you find her. Only she can shed light on the details of Leandra's plans. Ha! Zigzags would see you dash rather than mosey. But matters such as these require a thoughtful approach. Leandra and her cronies may be lunatics all, but they're far from brainless. So be wary, Hunter. Come <laughs> on. 
enemies nearby.
The Seven call me home. Into the fray once more. In the name of the goddess, halt! Who goes there? In that case, you can rest easy, Hunter. There is no source to be found here, only the glory of the Immaculates. Why, it's Silver Glen, of course. Once the abode of miners, now the abode of the faithful. We have traded the search for silver for the pursuit of divinity. I'm sure this sounds strange in what a stranger's ears, but you must know that but a short while ago, a frightful sickness felled us by the dozen, until she who speaks for the goddess brought us a cure. She showed us how we may overcome the frailty and even the decrepitude of our mortal bodies. That is why we now live a life of devoutness and civility, so that we may become immaculate. But I suggest you talk to Father Loik if you want to learn more about the ways of the goddess. Be welcome, therefore, to Silver Glen. Out of the worlds you the venture into the embrace seem to of be immaculate. A friendly enough seem being the operative word. Let's remain vigilant. The degenerates here claim they have been cleansed. But I can still smell the stink of persisting putrescence wafting from their grimy flesh. Silver Glen. As you know, I once carried the burden of disease upon emaciated shoulders. Perhaps I had better explain. By all means, if you're in the mood for such a dark tale. Once upon a time, I was a king in a... I was a young... I knew my life. And so I had... But then one day, a young woman visited my kingdom. Hiraka. Oh, and how I'm... And yet, true, it was an unparalleled horror. Scores of physicians flocked, but none of their potions took effect. It went like this, Hunter. If a ghoul I had become, so a dark turn of thought convinced me. A ghoul's methods I should employ to escape the labyrinthian crypt of corporeal corruption. A necromancer, I did unspeakable things in the dusky dungeons that twist like forgotten veins to long-deceased organs far beneath my castle's sunlit halls. Halls which held my throne and held the bed upon which Heraka slept. Her very touch still there came no relief. Perversions I created in scores, but they were mere undead all. Creatures so piteous that the th like mosquitoes in the night, panic and despair beset me until I turned to that darkest of all arts, demonology. It had to be. There was no other way. I could feel the life slipping out of me like love out of a betrayed spouse's heart. So I studied tomes so old the dust that fell from their centuries' unperused pages never knew the light of the stars that now sh I drew forbidden symbols. I spoke unhallowed words, and from the smoke that rose like a dragon's last breath, a demon appeared to me and said, Ask, O blighted king, and you shall have. Just tell me, I cried, tell me what ails me. Hiraka. Never had I known a single word can cut deeper than the sharpest of daggers. With maddening glee, the demon told me she was one of his kin. A soul-swallowing horror that had been feeding on both my body and my spirit like a leech. An ancient being was she, that moved from king to king throughout the ages, filling their... After such revelations, does one truly desire to live on? Death seemed like a mother then, welcoming me with her all-will-be-well embrace. Yet still I feared exceedingly her seemingly sweet caress and the oblivion that would follow. Release me from her, demon and give me back the strength of a sick, free existence. It smiled, of course it did. Smiled bare a hundred razors as its eyes came alight with infernal fire. A thousand years I will give you, it whispered. But then your soul shall be mine to incarcerate in the depths of hellish nemesis. 
As for your... I think you know the answer to that question, Hunter. But I've said enough for now. These memories are painful to recollect. So let us turn to the... Re Good. No... E well, well, well. So our very own Demon Hunter once dabbled in the so-called darkest of arts himself. Demon Hunter? Imposter, more like. All his talk of demons has been nothing but double-faced falsity. A harsh assessment. Welcome be, O oh seeking souls, to this holy house of immaculates. Blessed be the goddess and blessed be the conduit. I am Loic, enlightened one among immaculates, spokesman for the holy conduit, as she is spokesman for the goddess herself. Hers is the blood. Then it shall be my... We are the chosen ones of the goddess. The benedictions of the blood render our bodies and spirits unblemished, for such is her mercy that we may all become part of the sacred soul. And you too, Seeker, could become one such part. The goddess is the light and life of all. Corrupt is the world that generations of men and beasts have left behind, but immaculate it may be once more, cleansed in the blood of the unworthy. The few, the proud, the enlightened, theirs will be her kingdom. When red has run until no red is left, a paradise we will have shapen, and the goddess will dwell among us. You find yourself in the goddess's temple, therefore it follows she wants you to take the true path. Blessed be the, the goddess, the the goddess. And blessed be the conduit! The goddess is the word. I... Source Hunter. You've made it into the hamlet of Silver Glen, I see. Unnerving spot, don't you find? Leandra has fashioned herself a hero here. They're thick as trout, if you ask me, and unnaturally obsessed with ancient teaching. I haven't seen Leandra here myself, but she must have put on quite a show of magical mastery to enthrall a crowd of shaggy miners to have them hop on the bandwagon of a shadowy religion wholly alien to them. Haven't you heard them whisper of the blood? How their eyes shine when they discuss certain stellar stones? Star stones, of course, which drenched in blood become bloodstones and are used in healing rituals. Now, I can see how it could be a fantastic thing to nurse a dying human back to health, if all it takes is to sacrifice a toad. But I spy bloodlust in these people. They all act like they're following a benign goddess that will lead them to paradise. But I'll be a dappled Dalmatian if any of that is true. I've been shadowing the local priest, a man by the name of Loik. I have the feeling he knows more than most in Silver Glen, for I've followed him in the night when he meets with cloaked strangers, and goblins even, Mangoth, Hyberheim. Of strange things I've heard him whisper. Yes, this priest has shady goings-on written all over that smug, holier-than-thou face of his. But we must start at the beginning, Source Hunter. The White Witch is still at large. If we want to get to the true heart of Leandra's doings, we must start with her sister. The advantage of being a puss, my friend, is that one can pussyfoot. A white-haired wizard draws attention, but a cat can move about unnoticed and, indeed, not that I'm not extra wary of these bloodsuckers, though. There's a conspicuous absence of pets in this eerie little town. The Immaculate's presence here is highly disconcerting. But we mustn't lose sight of our mission, Source Hunter. 
the white wit. Striking it rich! Danita, a source hunter in Silver Glen. I have traveled mile on top of mile to find help, and now help has, uh, how you say, appeared from skinny vapors. Salute my story. Well, this is no small tale. I believe Lawrence, the leader of Mining Guild, tell my husband and many of other workers to mine deadly ore called Tenibrium. Lawrence knew that this ore caused rot. Charming name, no? Yet ordered the miners to continue. Many men, my Ben among them, become the sickness. And now they, how you say, Kick down the bucket. But this sickness, it is not normal. It kills swift and terrible, not unlike sword. My son Sebi and I travel from our home to find truth. But this has proven not so easy. My sweet little Pomargo Visago, my darling Ben. We got along like, how you say, uh, peas and ferrets. But he here there is work. Very well paid in mines, clearing special rock from silver mine. So he leaves Sebi and I to come to. We wait with hearts like stones for some months. And one day we see familiar figure moving with strange steps on path toward cottage. We run to me. We help him inside and set him to rest. But he was in terrible condition. Each hour he grow worse. Rot so f when his father die, Sebi become restless. Being of the age, he join army and go straight to front line. Though I was nearly old woman, I join army as healer to be near and look after my bo There we saw special legionnaire using strange weapon. And this legionnaire soon come to my tent with the same disease that killed Ben. I discover the tenibrium ore in this weapon. It was the ore that killed them both. I come to Silver Glen to discover truth. And here I find Lawrence, that arrogant man, conducts his business without apologize to Ed. Exactly this. 
Please, Swords Hunter, you must help me prove that Lawrence made his workers to mine. Translation is difficult, but it means something like, if you fail, I will plant cherry tree and haunt your grandbaby beneath branches. Good luck. That world weary face is giving me shivers. What you say we take a load off together? I do suppose I could find some way to entertain you. Oh, sugar, that's a story for another day, ain't it? Speaking of, yours and mine has hardly begun. What say we get better acquainted upstairs? I've got all. Indeed, I do. And I'm just itching to take you places you've only ever dreamed of, darling. <laughs> oh, that's the spirit, sugar. Oh, gold always puts me in the mood for a little... Time you brighten my face. Oh, can I get your hand? A straight shot of rye, please. Sure thing, darling. Oh, you start hello, stranger. How can I... He's... Will? But that means he's... Oh! Please! Leave! Give one of the comfort folk a visit, if... I'm on it. God! The fuse is getting shorter! Stop it! Freeze it! Calm down. We're not coming any closer. Let's just talk about this. Yes, don't worry, miss. We'll get you out of this fix somehow. Princess keep her trap shut or picky boom. No fox shoot or picky boom. Last warning or picky boom. The spirits of winter smile. Thank you, thank you, thank you! You saved my life! It was that cur of a Frederick that did this to me. He locked me in here with that... with that... Dear me, I need to get out of this room. Yes, I'll go downstairs to catch a breath of fresh air. Sorry, darling. There you are, darling. Shall we get started then? So we shall, sugar. But do please ask your... There you are, darling. Oh, let's do it. But first, I need to know about your preferences, darling. You're in charge tonight, after all. So tell me, which sort best floats your boat? A savage, merciless witch or a gentle... Sensuous nymph. In need of a gentle hand, are you? Well, I've just the soft and sumptuous knoll in mind for you to rest your weary heads. Why don't we make ourselves comfortable and begin? Once upon a time, the patron goddess of feasting took a fancy to the humble spirit of insatiability. Of their union, a nymph, Clydella, was born. The child of parents so expert in flavor and quantity, Clydella's calling was clear. A master cook she became. I need to the unlock this from somehow. From Brandon Gulch to Wimpit Willow. Queens and sultans trembled before her corrupt
Hmm. You dare disturb my rumination? It must be that you can hardly wait to purchase an ingredient or two for a very urgent recipe. I'll forgive this imposition if you'll make me a generous offer. There we are. Praise the goddess. I've passed the trial. Friend, this is most excellent news. Welcome to the Immaculate Hole. Yes, I can feel Oh, my hero. My heart is still racing. That little mo Yes? Search me. He's a regular of mine. With rather eccentric tastes, I might add. He always wants me to wear a grey wig, for example, and walk with a cane. But I digress. Anyway, he recently spent the night again and I couldn't sleep because of his muttering. He talked something awful all through the night. In the morning, I told him he had gone on and on about some Maradino character and a supposedly secret treasure lair somewhere in the woods. Next thing I knew, he flew into a rage, said the treasure was his and his... I was just about to let him know I won't stand for such language when he pulled that monster of a bicky out of his satchel and told the little gnome to guard the princess and to go boom if I tried to escape. I spent hours of horrid fear up in that room. Bonnie's my name, and I am, or rather I was, a lover for hire. Folks would come to me when they were in need of some company, conversation and more intimate desires. But this fiasco has put an end to it. I'll never set another foot into a client's room, not- Nothing much, I'm afraid, but go ahead. I'll answer what I can. <laughs> I used to. Dear, dear, dear. You'll hardly impress the conduit with such a clouded look about your eyes. But... Watch where you're going. These beauties will pierce you to the bone. So, do you fancy a trade, then? Come now, before my ale arrives. Ever shot a bullseye in your sleep? Well, no wonder with your skill book as empty as all that. Heard any good tales, my friend? Trolls, half as dumb and twice as me. Quite a fine skeleton beneath that hide of yours, isn't there? Mm, yes, a lovely, sturdy thing. I bet it'll last a hundred generations if treated properly.
If I said you had a great body, would you hold it against me? Me? I'm Ramon. <laughs> I may not be a genie, but rub me right and I'll make your dreams come true. Where the wind blows, the goddess breathes. Where the rivers run, the goddess weeps. How can I connect you to our eternal goddess, my friend? News from the mines. No new a source hunter. My liege, I am at your disposal. I am Lawrence, the representative of the mining guild responsible for operations in Silver Glen. Please, valiant preposterous. What does that foreigner know about the affairs of Silver Glen? You do best to do as I do, my liege, and turn a deaf ear to her insane accusations. Oh, I am no one special. Merely a humble servant of the guild. My only cause for complaint, your grace, are these awful goblins. They're starving us out, refusing even a single honest miner his right to work. Perhaps... Perhaps... You must forgive me if I become somewhat overcome when discussing it, my liege, to think how I've been betrayed. To think how I invited a tribe of goblins to assist us in clearing the tenebrium from our mine, you see. The leader of the troop, a certain spitting When the job was done, though, he and his band of totem brain fiends refused to vacate. They've kept close guard of the bridges to them. These goblins follow Drexis like lemmings, your grace. And if only I could undo the traitor, they'd slither back to the swamp they crawled from. Drexis's head on my mantle would save countless... Please, your grace, I am completely at your dis... Ah, yes. Ben, of course, one of our many noble miners, your grace. A smallish man. I uh, believe he's around here somewhere, isn't he? 
Yes, a dreadful business, that. I've been fortunate enough to avoid this. You see, my liege, when a miner has been over long exposed to tenebrium, he begins showing certain symptoms. Gangrene about the extremities, fatigue, malaise. At first, we had, had we known then what we've since discovered, we never would have continued operations. But alas, mistakes were made, and those we lost can never be brought back. No matter what that crackpot conduit would have one believe. My liege, you ought not to concern yourself with the fraudulent leader of a crackpot cult. Really, the whole some insane huckster calling herself the conduit of the goddess made her way to Silver Glen at the height of the rot hold of when by magic or illusion she managed to cure a handful of them of the affliction, every last one of the bunch. Fortunately for her, she disappeared shortly after her little trick, or I would have thrown her into prison and swallowed the key myself. Imagine hypnotizing an entire useless stuff, my liege, worse than common dirt, but ten times as difficult to extract and infinitely more dangerous. Those brutes! I invited them here to save our valued miners from the ill effects of clearing tenebrium, and those interlopers met my invitation with the hot. They haven't allowed a single human miner past them in months, and meanwhile my men have all but forgotten their vocation and turned instead to their damned religion. Beware of the lost ones out there, Wanderer. Their blood is impure. What have you got stashed in here, Mrs. Cottontail? Poor man. It seems he was eaten by a beast. Well, partially. Did you see that? A shadow just sprang to life. Strange magic indeed. Perhaps we're nearing the White Witch's lair. Ah, the Source Hunter. It is my greatest pleasure to announce to you that we Immaculates have captured the feared White Witch and quarantined her house of horrors. Yes, the greatest known threat to Rivalon has been neutralized, thanks in no small part to you, Source Hunter. Your activities in Sicil drove the snake to her den, and that's where we Immaculates sprang our trap. Ah, the High Counselor of Sicil. We mourned his tragic death. Yes, every immaculate honors the memory of that noble man. Still, Source Hunter, I am sworn on my life to guard this quarantine. 
I serve a higher authority than yours and will not waver in my duty. could be particularly uh, <clears throat> persuasive. Go on then, Source Hunter. But... Dressing us? Oh, somehow we doubt that very much. Have you ever seen the Moth King's silver spoon? Nearly microscopic? No, no, Source Hunter. It's quite a lovely sort of barrier, isn't it? Who doesn't? Then again, we suspect it's been hoisted up by some not so savory characters. And we happen to know just how to remove it. 
The only trouble is finding the right sort of... Here's what we propose. We've a fresh batch of three brain teasers hot off our thinking caps. Perhaps, if you can answer them correctly, we might find you spirited enough to entrust with the barriers. But it isn't all fun and games. We hardly offer second chances to the beriddled. If you give us a single false answer, we'll clam up like morning glories at midnight, as is your right. I must say, though, that I've never before seen a chicken so perfectly formed into the shape of a human. Are you addressing us? It's quite a then again. Here's what. But it isn't all funny. This is better news than the old queen misplacing her thumbscrew. But enough delays. Let us. The ravenous brute tore down my chartreuse gown, ripped out my silken hair by its roots, wrenched my children from me, and fed me to the hogs. <gasps> A pumpkin. That's right. Ha! We knew we weren't to be bested. There's no riddler among us like a fungus. You were a kindly dunce. Sorry, but that goose has sailed. You clearly aren't the right sort of clever sort of intrepid... I'll be damned if I'll give a single coin to a... If anything. Well, we never to be insulted in our own forest. I hope I have enough arrows for this.
anybody else smell smoke? The Seven, call me home.
Vortex! to welcome you. Into the fray once more. Back on my feet again.
The place seems to fortune. Searched? I'd say ransacked is more apt. What's this? I found something. A beautiful cave, but who knows to what dark purpose the witch might have turned it. Keep your senses sharp for any sign of source. Could the Immaculates have slaughtered so many beasts? I don't doubt it. But the question is, why? Look at this. Look what these Immaculates have wrought. But I will avenge these animal spirits in kind. It's an insult to the natural order. Death without purpose. There is no meaning behind it. just address us either that or our judgments been addled by mushroom spores
glory in this death. Glory in this death. But now I... I'm alone here. Oh, my... my fallen friends. You mean you don't know? Cloaked figures, evil ones, came for the Guardian. They moved quickly, too quickly for any of us to escape. I can still hear the Guardian calling for Almina to flee, just as the butchers grabbed her. After they had gotten rid of her, they came for us. For sport, you know? What fun. I watched as they slaughtered each of my friends in turn, laughing like lunatics as those gentle creatures tried. The humans call her the White Witch, but our name for her suits her far better. The mushrooms and herbs she grows here are imbued with her magic, and these she uses to put potent medicines. How anyone could hurt her, it's unimaginable. The Guardian created this place, a sanctuary for any who seek its shelter. Not even these foul intruders tries the might to contain her goodness. One of the cloaked brutes pulled a terrible trick. Waited knee-deep into our lake and spoke a strange spell. Then the intruders dragged the Guardian into the water, and a lot of them simply vanished. Where they took her, a humble boar can hardly speculate. My only comfort is that Almina jumped in after them. Perhaps she's watching over the Guardian even now.
Do you see the lake below? Please, come and speak to me there. I have so much to tell you.
stand before me. But she won't believe it. And now look! The grotto's overrun with murderers! Ikara's been kidnapped! And God knows what else the ant is planning! Haven't you had to look around? This place is infested with immaculate. They'd just as soon slip my throat as blow their noses. Yours too, you know. <laughs> Two reasons! Two very terrible reasons, don't you know? <coughs> These immaculates aren't to Leander alone, the conduit, my honey. Second, Leander's had it out for Akara for two long years. When she left here, she was, she was, oh, a hate machine. Eyes blazing, steam coming from her nose, almost. Why, I lived among them both for years. Leandra and I never quite took to one another, but Ikara is my... Oh, my protector, my friend. Some years ago, a wizard came to join them here. Sandalore. He and Ikara fell in love, which drove Leandra Betty, Betty, Betty! She stormed away and disappeared for two long years. As far as I know, she never said word one to her sister or the Lord during all that time. Ikara! Oh, dear Ikara! Oh, she protected me when no one else would. She cared for any of us. Dear wonderful Agara. I escaped to a grotto from Iberheim. Oh, a terrible place. Oh, I get the shivers just thinking. I begged her for asylum, and she agreed before I'd even finished my plea. Sort of ice, torture, enslavement. A terrible place for all, but for an even. There is no worse hell. Hundreds of my brothers toil there still, building the king's mazes and prisons. Oh, I'm the only one who managed a way out. And that is just where they've taken her, Swords Hunter. They've taken Ikara to that frigid abyss. Hippie! Will you go then? Will you find her? Oh, good now! Wonderful. To the lake, then, friend. The lake. It 
can be used for rift travel between this realm and that. That's where they took her. That's where you must go. You're telling me? Please, your Santa, you must find Ikara. If you claim to fight for order and good, there's no one else you'd sooner save. 